Okay, so today I'd like to start with a small demo of a, a, the motivator system on Zo CRM. We got a few requests from uh, the audience that did want to know if the, the motivator is uh, something that they should use. And I will give you a small tour. I'm not a master in this field, but pretty much I can, I can show you around. The motivator system is really built to create engagement inside the team. The idea is that people, the different salespeople or people in the team will have some kind of a competition and they will get virtual rewards uh, versus their uh, participation in, in the game. In order to go to the motivator, you click on the settings on the top. And then you will go to the motivator, which is here. Okay. And then you access motivator. Now, the motivator usually will work based on the deals module. Um, and the main reason is, let me just go to my deals module, the opportunities and deals in my case is the same. It's because whenever you have a deal, you have a few things. One, you will have the amount and usually the motivator will run based on the sell price, which is the amount. You will have the closing date whenever was the, uh, the deal waste basically was closed. And also you like to see that you work only based on the close one deals and not all of them. Uh, because most salespeople are being compensated based on the close one, which means it's a deal and not based on their pipeline. In some cases, companies will also measure pipelines, but it's, it's really up to you if you want to play it like that. Uh, whenever you start uh, in checking your motivator, you will be able to see your dashboards. Those will be the existing uh, games that you're currently running or the KPIs. Uh, in my case, I created one KPI and this is the best salesman. As you can see, I'm the best salesman of uh, this, uh, this month. Good for me. And you can see also uh, uh, the curve of uh, the sales themselves. So this is the sum of the amounts that uh, I sold uh, in this month. Uh, you can also see different targets. I created the target of 200,000, 300,000 for different people. Uh, Jeff Mann uh, is supposed to get $200,000 this month and he's only on uh, 42,000. Uh, my goal is, uh, it says 300, supposed to be 150, my mistake. So I reached more than 150, so I reached my goal. There are also games that they uh, can run. Um, in this, game, in this game, for example, we're checking who is the best salesman, uh, me or Jeff. And whenever sales will be, uh, uh, will be sold, then those numbers will start to climb up based on the sales. Uh, in terms of the achievement, you can have different type of, of trophies. Um, if, if you are serious about running something like that, I would give more than a, just a virtual trophy. Um, every company is different, but bottom line, when you compensate people with vacations, with money rewards, with gifts, um, people appreciate it and, and they, they, they push more. So sometimes $500 gift or $1,000 gift can push your business to 20, $30,000 of sales. So you do the math. The TV channel is also something very cool. The TV channel is, let's say that you have a TV or some kind of a monitor in your business. You can create, and you need to click on the plus button here. You can create different visuals based on what you're running in the company. For example, let's say that I have those targets that I showed you before the 200K, I want everybody to see uh, what Jeff is doing. So that will be as part of the screen. 
I can also have, uh, I know that I'm running one game, so I will run the game here also, and people can see me against Jeff. Of course, if you have a bigger team, it looks nicer. And also when you have some action, the point goes up and everybody's really excited. And I will have also the, uh, the KPI that I created, which I will show you in a second. And the KPI will be for, for this month. And that's showing what we did this month relatively to previous month. And this is why you see the hundred percent here. Let's save that. We'll call it um, November sales. And it will refresh or it will change the slide every five seconds. You will have a different slide. In terms of the KPI, when you create the KPI, you need to give it a name. So let's say it will be November sales. You select the module. Now, because you can select different modules and create different criteria, the motivator can be used not only for sales. The motivator can be used for running um, marketing. So how many leads were pushed? If you have openers and closers in your sales team, you can compare the different openers, which ones are able to push the deal from uh, the lead, the beginning of the lead all the way to lead converted, which means the, the closers will take place. How many invoices were sent, sales orders. So you can run basically on anything uh, in the system. Also custom fields, no problem. In my case, I will run it on the opportunities. This is the most common uh, uh, behavior. And also the record that I'm running on, and you will see in a second what it means, will be the closing date. Uh, you can run it on any type of date field that you will have in the module. Uh, this one, for example, the real last update, that's a custom module, a custom field date that I created in the opportunities. You can run it also on that, no problem the closing date will be probably the, the most common. Uh, you can run a criteria. For example, you can run it on all the deals or you can run it only on deals that their stage is close one. Okay, or maybe close one and also maybe the one that uh, are in agreement phase are also considered as a deal. It's up to you as, as a business owner. And if you want, you can have here more uh, criteria to refine this uh, KPI. The points can be a set of points. Let's say 100 points will be for every record uh, in this KPI, or you can use the amount field. And the amount field is what I used in my case. And I think it's, it looks also the best because there is value for the amount of the deal. Okay, and therefore you can see, I just created exactly the same thing that I showed you before, the November sales. So this is how it works. That's it really. This is uh, the entire, uh, uh, let's see if I have preview, do no preview. So this is really what the motivator is all about. It's cool as long as you create some excitement around it and people, you know, they're waiting for, for the next game and they see that people actually benefited from it and they, they got some kind of a reward, but it's all up to you as the business owner to drive it and create excitement because this is this product is all about excitement. Okay, uh, about some news I already shared with you last week. I will say it again, those uh, uh, free webinars will end the end of this year. So November, uh, December, I think 31st or so, we have the last uh, uh, webinar. It will be the last one. Starting next year, we're going to a different format. The format will be a subscription base, so it will cost money. Uh, the content also will change. For example, we're starting next year with the loose scripting. We're going to teach uh, the people that will be part of the subscription how to code the luge. And that's for business owners. It's not the luge for developers. So the level of content will change. It will not be what I just showed you now, just the basics of something. 
it will be things that are much higher in terms of value and uh, what you can do with it in your business. The YouTube channel will stay free, of course, will continue to load the same type of content. Um, that's it. That's it, really. Okay. So let me open the stage for questions. Mm -hmm.